723 right now in the Fishers Fire Department recently opened the doors to their new fire headquarters, but because of the pandemic, the community can't actually go inside and check it out like you normally could. So firefighters created what you're seeing here. This is a virtual station tour. It's just one way they're trying to keep their connection to the people they serve. So joining me live is Captain John Mailing with the Fishers Fire Department. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Well, this was different start to finish from the ribbon cutting to what we just saw part of, which was the virtual tour. So can you take us through some of those changes, ribbon cutting, and then what, you know, what people will see on the tour? Yeah, so we are really excited about being in our new station, our new headquarters. Um, but because we're in the middle of a pandemic, we can't show it off the way that we wanted to. So like everybody else in the world today, we're trying to get creative with what we're doing. And, and we decided to put a video together and do the virtual tour. Um, even on the, the ribbon uh, cutting, we decided, you know what, let's just make it a little different. We still can't have everybody show up for that. So instead of using scissors, we used a fire truck to cut through the ribbon. <laughs> but it's a, it's, it's a great opportunity for people to walk through with uh, the captain of the station and myself and just kind of get a behind the scenes of, of what the station looks like. And then maybe someday we'll all get back to normal and we'll actually get everybody invited in and, and do an actual walkthrough. I can't wait for that. You know, so much of what firefighters do is interact with the community, whether they're stopping by the station, which we see so often or we did on social media, going out to talk to students or, um, you know, just people in the community. Is it tough on your firefighters not to be able to do much of that right now, that interaction? Yeah, I tell you what, we really miss our community. We, we particularly miss the kids. Um, we we are all big kids at heart. And so we have that same excitement that kids have when they come to the station. They see the fire trucks and, and they either get to climb in and, and check it out and hopefully have dreams of, of taking our spot someday as, as we get a little older. And we just have to keep being creative in, in how we connect with our community. Uh, we're doing a lot of things online. We're working with our teachers so that we're still getting into classrooms, whether it's reading a story or showing videos of, of our firefighters still getting dressed up so that kids know they don't have to be afraid to uh, even this door that's behind me that we, we keep set up at the uh, health department testing site so that as people come through, they're reminded that they need to sleep with their door closed. So we are, everything's on the table. Uh, anything creative uh, that we can come up with, we're trying to do so that we can keep that connection and uh, more importantly, that safety message there. I know it's so important for you to reach out to kids in the community now, so you're finding some creative ways to do that too. Um, and I know part of your message this morning is you wanna remind everyone, whether it's kids, parents, anyone um, who is watching that you'll be there in emergencies no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the reason we're taking a lot of these precautions and shutting our stations down is so we can make sure that our firefighters stay healthy because we want to be healthy for you when things go bad. And that day is going to come where this is, is past us. We have full confidence in that, but we're taking the measures now so that we can get there. Looking forward and to that. Either way, 911, we're going to come. All right, Captain John Mailing with the Fishers Fire Department, thank you so much for all you do and for joining us this morning. All right, thank you. And for anyone who wants to watch that entire virtual tour, it's pretty cool. Go to fox59.com slash links to take a look.